What's up guys? We're in Baton Rouge. We're about to go check out Cane Land Distilling Company. Got my friend Taylor here with me. Pretty chilly day here in Baton Rouge, which does not come around too often, so we're gonna go see if we can warm up. <laughs> started in 2013. Our doors didn't officially open until May of 2017. We are an estate bottle distillery. An estate bottle distillery means that we control everything from the very beginning to the very end. From the planting, to the harvest, to the grind, to the processing, fermentation, distillation, bottling, and selling. We do all ourselves. A bull gear, uh, this is from an early 1900s sugar mill. And it's gonna be a 6,000 gallon water tank uh, that was used to supply their boilers out there. So, 6,000 gallon tank of molasses. Uh, this pipe right here is what is known as a static mixer. So these fermentation vessels are currently running. Hook up that series of pneumatic pumps and we're gonna pump it right on over into this room. This is our still room. This is Evangelin and this is Sweet Jane. So there's three different parts to whenever you run a still. Your heads, your hearts, and your tails. So the hearts is gonna be the really good alcohol. The stills themselves, notice that we have both a stainless steel and we also have a Remy Martin Cognac Vats. All three of these vats are more than 100 years old. It is a true black trap liquor is probably going to have a vintage to it. If you buy a bottle from three years ago, it's probably not going to taste the same as the bottle now. And during this aging process, we have new being added on top of it, and it's just going to change dramatically, and the body is going to increase and become much better. So first, we have our Shindig Vodka. It is made from raw, unrefined cane sugar. A little bit of sweetness on the front, and it has a very smooth finish. Right oh, wow. now, right? Yeah. That's really good. It's it's not right. a vodka drink I either, would mix but those. Our Gente Rum modeled after a Cuban white rum, otherwise known as a silver rum. Light body, but full flavored rum. Made of a mixture of molasses and cane sugar. Yeah, we have to clean our palate. Next is our whiskey. This is the one thing that we do not make on our premises. We actually partner with a distillery up in Tennessee. They put 150 barrels of whiskey onto a barge and floated it down the Mississippi. It goes through a variety of temperatures, climates, humidities, and on top of that, you have the action from the barge itself. We've traveled all over the country. We just did the bourbon like trail in Almost April. a bourbon oh, wow. flavor yeah. somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle, but, but, it, it, but it never, yeah, it never, it never it's quite gets it. Yeah. Right. We just now released the rum higher cola, a rum that is made with fresh, fresh cane juice. Most rums have that sweet quality to it. There is that sweetness to it. It has a very earthy, grassy taste to it. You literally try it and you will say, I don't think I've ever had anything quite like this. Oh, very early. It's yeah, so you weren't lying. Our dark rum is made from all molasses. <laughs> Wow. You know that Ian has a spice for this you? This molasses? Yeah. That is the smell that Ian tastes. Yeah, you can tell it's more medium body, a little bit less body. Yeah. But it's, it, just give it a year and it'll be an entirely different product. The Caneland Spice Rum. This is probably what we are most proud of. The only way to describe it is phenomenal. Ours are all natural flavorings. Whenever you drink this, you're going to get vanilla on both the front and the end. And on the middle, you're going to get citrus peel, uh, cloves, cinnamon. I don't want any. That is really no. good. Really I already smooth. did it. It's so great. smooth. And the vanilla, like you said, just, it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's not overpowering. But it's very it red stick cinnamon. Oh, it's like fireball. No, all natural flavors. Really nervous. This yeah, is really. Drinking this, it is not a like a fake cinnamon. You said you were scared about the cinnamon. How do you feel afterwards? It's good. So we finish up the tour and the tasting here at Caneland. Everything I tried was really good. A lot of flavors. They use all natural flavoring in everything that they make. The tour was incredibly detailed. detailed yeah. For me, the MVP, spiced rum. I thought that had the best flavors. Probably second was the rum agricole. I had never really tried anything that tasted quite like that. A lot of earthy flavors. Did you have a flavor? Spice. What's up guys? Had a great time at Caneland. Shout out to them for being so cool and so accommodating. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more content.